What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So the reason why I'm holding the Microsoft MVP award is because I was awarded not too long ago by Microsoft for you know contributions and a lot of different things that I've been doing for the community. But this video is not mainly about why I got it. I wanna basically teach you how you can get in, how you can achieve goals that might seem as unreachable today, but with dedication, with hard work, with consistency, and beyond everything, with a lot of passion of what you do, you can achieve all your dreams. So there's a couple of things that I wanna walk you through, and the first one is a struggle, right? We all struggle to reach our goals. I remember you know, waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning for the longest time to be able to release some of the games that I did for iOS, also for macOS, and I, you know, I would wake up uh, in the morning and just tell myself, I wanna get that game out, I wanna get it out, I want people to, try something that I created and it wasn't until I started programming and building a habit and actually struggling through the process that I didn't, you know, that I learned that that was the only way. There's people that, you know, they get overnight success. There's people like us that, you know, work hard and, and want to achieve our goals. So back in the day, I was, you know, waking up early, working on games. I currently am working on nine to five jobs. So I still struggle to, basically work as a, as a senior developer and then, you know, come home at 5 p.m., you know, spend time with my family and then work on videos so that you guys can watch the videos. And sometimes I do it in the morning, sometimes I do it late, but I think the key point here is we have to struggle. The next part of this is we need to basically have passion, right? If we don't have passion, how can you have drive? So that passion that I have for making indie games, for learning new things, for going to you know, extend the reality and, and doing everything that I do is what has driven me you know, that passion to be able to wake up early and work on all the crazy things that I think I've been working on. So I think passion, if you don't have the passion, it's gonna be really hard for you to you know, keep the, the, the hard habits, the hard consistency that comes with you know, actually building something amazing. And the Microsoft MVP is something that you know, I didn't get overnight. It's not that I just, you know, talk to Microsoft and they send it to me. It, it wasn't actually something that I expected. It's something that the community sees, something that people that work at Microsoft saw. And, and that's the key, right? Like, I, I can't just tell you, you have to do one, two, three to be able to get an award because it doesn't work that way. So first one, you have to struggle. You have to have a lot of passion. You also have to be a lot of cons consistency, right? If we start building habits, I wake up in the morning, I do my routine where, you know, I start getting the courses ready, the videos ready, then, you know, that's going to be building the habits that you need in order for you to be consistent. So if you start something today and let's say that two days pass by and you don't work on it, it's going to be really hard for you to get back to it. For me personally, if I work on something and I don't touch it for a couple of days, it's, it's basically something that I'm not going to look at. So what I do, I try to spend at least 30 minutes every day working on whatever it is. If I'm, if I'm making a new video, if I'm making a presentation, if I'm working on a project, I wanna make sure that I am consistent. Another thing that for me, the consistency that has helped me with consistency is making sure that I try to clear my play. And by clearing my play, I mean try to do things that, that you can clear it out so that your head is focused on the task in hand. For example, if I, want to, if I want to concentrate, I wake up in the morning, I exercise, those kind of things get me in the mindset that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be able to focus and going to be able to be as consistent as I can. So lastly, we, don't, we know that we have to be consistent, but we also have to do you know, a lot of work. In my case, I, I work at a job, I work in YouTube, but you have to work really hard. Doing these things, especially if you're building a community, it, it doesn't really happen overnight, it takes years. I'm, I've been doing this for six, seven years, and I'm still working and loving every minute of it. So if you want to do something like this, if you want to become a developer, if you want to become a creator, anything that you do, you have to make sure that you work as hard as you can. The other thing that I did in order for me to, that I think it, it basically allowed me to get the Microsoft Award is I, Remember waking up every morning and then working on HoloLens 2 videos. Those videos didn't happen overnight. They took months and months and months. I didn't know how to you know, use this device. I started learning about all the different parts of the device. I started learning about 
you know, what is the SDK has to offer, which is the MRTK SDK. I, I didn't really know how to cope with this. I didn't really know what to expect, but going through the process and, and doing the other things that I did with as an indie game developer, as an extended reality developer by working on with different clients is what allowed me to do many videos with this device and also provide a playlist to the community. Not only that, but I also work a lot with, you know, GitHub. So I was working on making a lot of examples. So I have more than 80 to 90 different repos that I, of, that I offer publicly. And now that I'm bragging about it, but I'm saying like, those are the things that you have to be thinking about. How can you help the community? How can you give value and all the value that you can so that others can benefit from it? And always think about the other person. Think about all the things that you can do to help them. Because at the end of the day, you know, money comes, money goes, but what's important is what you're going to leave, who you're going to impact in this world. So that's what I think it got me to getting the Microsoft MVP. And I wanted to say thank you to Microsoft for nominating me to get the award. I also wanted to thank the community for all the help and all the nice comments that you have been sending me over the last you know, few years. So thank you very much. And I hope that this inspires you and many others that come to the channel. Thank you guys.